Hello, I'm Shazia Manis, CEO of the Members Group. It is indeed my privilege and honor to be considered as a woman of influence within the credit union movement. As a leader within the movement, what are your top three tips for future leaders? Well, first of all, don't fight change, because change will find you. Instead, lead change, because that's what ends up renewing and revitalizing and reinvigorating of your company over time. Second of all, know your blind spot, and then surround yourself with skills and talents that is the best out there, and most importantly, inspire them, empower them, and motivate them to propel the company forward in light of your vision. I personally believe um, something that Steve Jobs has preached, which is A players hire A plus players, and that's what exactly that means. Third of all, be curious of your surrounding. What are the problems you're really trying to solve to be relevant to your constituent? And find those, use data-driven insight to solve those problems because that's where you create value for your members and for the consumers you're willing to serve. And that's how you get the biggest bang for your buck. As an industry, what do you think we need to rethink? Well, first of all, um, how to remain relevant for the next generation of members. We are all operating um, in a world right now where we are seeing um, influx of new generation of membership entering the movement. Um, and their financial needs and aspirations are very different. How do we um, manage a business model or develop product services or touch points to be relevant to that next generation of membership? Second of all, um, how do your business model fit in a global economy? Because if you stop and think, we live in a world where proliferation of technology and social media is accelerating way commanding our lifestyle. So in the midst of all of that, the profile of competition is shifting very drastically. So competition is coming um, beyond the industry that you're in. So it's very important to kind of know how you fit holistically uh, in the midst of the commerce that you're operating. Third of all, um, in what ways you currently use business intelligence, insights and data that you have um, to drive your strategic choices and decisions. So those would be the three that I would um, really pause and rethink how we are operating today. What advice do you have on how to push past fear to enact real change? Well, first of all, it has to start um, with the leader um, envisioning a culture uh, where change is embraced and a change is not looked at as a failure. Um, instead, it gives a sense of confidence to everyone within the organization. Um, change may lead to beginning of something great, and it will not be a career ender if it do ends up occasionally in failure or mistakes. Uh, and more importantly, uh, just practice makes perfection. Try on, identify change that uh, you feel like needs to be embarked on and try it. And once you see, sky is not falling. It only gets better with, uh, with practice. So that those would be a couple of tips that I would um, render in the arena of enacting real change. Well, Shazia, thank you for your time today and congratulations. Thank you again.